What's up, everyone? Welcome to another edition of Theron's Thoughts. My name's Theron Shetty. These are my thoughts. Hope you guys are doing well. Good morning. You know, I woke up today and I had such anxiety. I was like, oh my God, I gotta get stuff going. I gotta move. What am I doing here in Florida? I just, it, it comes like a meteor shower every morning. And what I do is I meditate and I think, you know what? Whatever happens, happens. It's okay. It's totally fine. Whatever happens, happens. Because really, in the grand scheme of things, Nobody is thinking about me. I mean, with you too. I mean, we think we're the most important thing, you know, in the universe. But really, we're just pieces of sand in the grand, the grand scheme of things. Nobody really cares. I think about that with my own life. I'm like, well, if my career ends here, so be it. But I will go out fighting every day. And I think that's what you have to do uh, in life in general. Not just if you're uh, some... 40-something-year-old comedian in Florida. With anything you do, you have to just keep pushing through. Like, I was driving uh, to Coconuts a couple days ago, and I was so depressed. I was thinking about my mom, and I was just like, God, everything sucks. You know, just cancel the show and go home. And I was like, no, just push through this. And I think a lot of life is that, just pushing through, you know, problems. I'm like, well, I'm just going to go to the next show. I'm going to write this next page in my script and just push through. Because not, not every day is going to be great. In fact, I've accepted that most days are going to be completely horrible and it's going to suck. But guess what? You just push through because, I mean, there are people, there are, you know, people of uh, roofers, you know, uh, sweltering in the hot sun. There are people uh, making 50 cents a day in Africa or India, or whatever. So, I mean, we're lucky. I also started watching this show called Succession on HBO. Everybody keeps talking about it. And I actually auditioned for it last time I was in Los Angeles. Uh, I had like one line. Didn't get it. I mm. wonder what they saw in the other actor. But I am very interested in the show. It's about this family, this very rich family. And it's like a power struggle. Like they all hate each other. And I'm watching the show and I'm like, why do people love this show so much? And it's so easy because, you know, for me, it's like this, this very privileged family and the problems that are happening in the family. And it kind of is like a, a microcosm to how much we love the tabloids. We love people fall from grace. I mean, we love it when Matthew Perry goes to rehab and Kanye has a meltdown and Dave Chappelle gets in trouble. Like we love people who are on the verge of like just having a nuclear meltdown, right? So I think that's reflected in our television. Um, I mean, it kind of reminds me of this other show you know, back in the day called Entourage, you know, it was about the, but that was about like the Hollywood power scheme, you know, rising to the top. People just, you know, I think people are just so miserable with their lives. Like they find a great escape, especially now on TV. Uh, there's a show right now also called Billions, which I haven't seen, but I think it's around the same themes of, you know, <laughs> rich people in Miami. I mean, look at the reality shows, the Kardashians, the real estate shows. This all has to do with money, power, good looking people. It's really easy to wake up, you know, wherever you are or in Florida like me and be like, man, look at all these people enjoying their life. My life sucks. I'm just sitting here drinking coffee. But in reality, who's to say that they're any happier? I mean, they probably are. But for this vlog, let's just go with what I'm saying. Maybe I'm happier just sitting here, uh, you know, writing my dumb jokes performing for senior citizens at night. There's an actor on Succession, his name is Alan Ruck, and I used to work for him when I was a, a intern on Spin City. He was like a cast member in his 30s, maybe early 40s. But Alan Ruck was also in that big 80s movie called Ferris Bueller's Day Off. He was like the best friend. He must have been 16. But this guy has been acting forever. And I was, it kind of made me think, and I was like, do you have to get in this business young to have any success at all? I think that can go two ways. I mean, you can either be a child actor, you know, get in this business young, have some problems, you know, going to rehab, everything gets derailed, or you're like Alan Ruck, you know, you learn the business young, and then uh, you just kind of hang in there reinventing yourself every 10 years. And I'm only saying this because I was thinking about comedy. I was like, you know, to be a good comic, it does help to start a little young, so you have, you know, that in. I mean, I remember I was, uh, I started when I was 18, and for the longest time, I was always like the youngest kid in the comedy club. They're like, oh, there's the kid third. And I remember thinking, I was like so frustrated that like, nobody took me seriously. And now like, I'm like the old guy, <laughs> you know, like even like Coconuts where I perform at, somebody told me, dude, that's where all the comedians with one foot in the grave go and perform, you know? 
And I was like, shit, I guess uh, I'm part of this old guard here. And now I'm just like kind of hanging on or I've got to reinvent myself. So maybe I'll grow a mustache or wear a monocle or something. But the circle is all back. If I can just wake up and just, you know, somehow quell <laughs> these, these thoughts and just be the best version of myself, that should be good. But what do I know? I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Take care.